Okay, now I realize it's been a long time since I've done a video. Well, by a long time, I only mean one or two weeks. But the point of the matter is that it has been a very busy life for me lately. But with all that aside, I'm going to have a quick look at the latest Ubuntu beta, which is of course Ubuntu 12.04. Now this is not a final review by any stretch of the imagination. I will be doing a full review like all my other Linux distro reviews that will be coming out around the release date. Uh, but Ubuntu 12.04 uh, beta 1 uh, is already looking very polished. Unity has undergone some serious tweaking and optimization here and it's looking very speedy and very snazzy indeed. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't noticed by now, yes, the audio quality is much better now. Thanks to you guys, I've managed to get my hands on a blue snowball microphone, uh, which is of course USB mic, what runs perfectly under Linux, and uh, consequently you are going to enjoy better sound quality in your videos from here on in. So thank you very much everybody, you can take a bow. Back to the video, Ubuntu 12.04 uh, is going to be rocking Unity 5.0, and uh, Unity has, um, has undergone some real fantastic optimizations as I've mentioned before. The dash home now is uh, the, the eight buttons, are, the eight large buttons are gone and we've got some much more relevant stuff here based on your recent applications, your recent files and your downloads folder as well. And um, we've also got default lenses along the bottom which are of course the applications, the files, the music and the videos. Now the videos is also quite nice if you're connected to the internet. Uh, you are also going to be able to search for YouTube videos and, uh, and other services as well like BBC's iPlayer and all of that fun stuff. Uh, depending of course what country you're in. Now also, uh, the, we do still have the window scaling effects like we've seen in previous releases, except the transitions now are much, much smoother. Uh, also the overlay scroll bars uh, that you can see here, are, uh, you can also use them to resize the windows horizontally, which is pretty cool stuff as well. Uh, then running along the top panel here, we've got all of the notifications as we've seen before. We've got all the desktop effects are running very, very smoothly indeed. One other note that I have uh, that I have taken notice of is that the auto hide for the launcher now is disabled by default. Of course, you can enable it later, but uh, this just keeps the user experience more consistent and makes this bar on the side less annoying. Now, of course, we still can't move this panel around, which is still a bit of a problem, but hopefully one day they'll get around to it. Now, here comes the exciting stuff. Uh, which actually ties into what I've got this web page open for. Uh, now basically I have been looking at Windows 8 and I've also been looking at Ubuntu 12.0 beta and I've also been looking at OS X Lion. Uh, I've recently acquired a, a second-hand MacBook Pro that I've been messing around with OS X Lion and, uh, and trust me I can see an awful lot of crossover between Windows 8 uh, Ubuntu 12.04 and OS X Lion and I will definitely say that uh, Ubuntu is definitely ahead of the curve as far as uh, where the desktop is going in that there is going to be a lot of disgruntled uh, Windows 8 users uh, because of the fact that they are into, uh, of course they have their new Metro interface which is of course fantastic on tablets but um, really it kind of sucks on the desktop and uh, and many people are already saying this and we're only up to the consumer preview for uh, Windows 8 but it'll be interesting to see what happens when it rolls out in the final release. However, with uh, Ubuntu 12.04 we still have more or less the same traditional desktop user interface in that, uh, in that it's, it's not really specifically built with tablets in mind. Now I know we all thought that was the case when uh, they first uh, released Unity, but actually it's not entirely true. Unity, as far as I've found, is incredibly usable when it comes to keyboard. Uh, the, the keyboard is still one of the most powerful things that we actually use laptops for as opposed to tablets and all of our other smartphone and touchscreen devices and really Unity really takes fantastic advantage of the power of the keyboard and it's even come in more, I mean we all knew that you could hit the meta key and search, uh, and, search and launch your different applications so if you know what you're looking for that's fine uh, if you didn't know what you were looking for you'd have to click the applications lens and then you could say uh, installed and you could see all of your different applications like I just failed to do there uh, and you can see all the applications that you have installed. Now however we're taking this one step further with Ubuntu 12.04 and that is with the HUD or the heads up display. Heads up display is I think a fantastic innovation that uh, that is not going to be forced upon users in that it's completely optional uh, you don't have to use it if you don't want to but one of the fantastic little innovations here is that if you want to simply search for a particular menu item in the application that you're using and you don't want to have to navigate away from your keyboard uh, you can simply access any of the menu options by typing their title in the heads up display. Now because of the fact this is in beta it's not quite working with all the applications yet Firefox being a brilliant example there. 
But you can see here that I've got all of my menu options that show up straight here in the HUD, which is very convenient and it's all keyboard driven and you can uh, actually get quite fast at it. I have experimented and mucked around with it for a little bit uh, and, uh, and it, it does seem stable enough. So compared to all of the other desktop craziness that the computer world is experiencing and, and across the board I'm seeing uh, transitions to more tablet touch swipey interfaces, even with OS X, even with Mountain Lion coming up uh, sometime in the American summer, which is obviously Australian winter, uh, it's again going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at integrating more iPad features into OS 10 and there's going to be constantly merging those two platforms. Windows 8 is obviously merging their Windows Phone 7 and Windows 8, uh, and their Windows desktop as well with the Metro interface and honestly I'm uh, I mean it, it, Windows 8 really looks nice but I really feel for the desktop users out there that are going to be completely thrown out of the water. I mean with Linux users and I'm just going to digress on a bit of a rant but with Linux users uh, we are fairly adaptable in that we 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 have a particular workflow that we appreciate and then uh, and when developers come along and mess with that we can usually find a way to get what we wanted back. However I don't really see that happening with Windows 8 um, because of the fact it's manufactured, it's all closed source, uh, there are going to be third party um, apps which will try and uh, alter some of the default settings. But the way I see it, um, there's going to be a lot of, of Windows 8 refugees as it were. Uh, so I think this is a great opportunity for Linux and I know we've said this before, especially when Windows Vista came out and was a massive flop. Uh, I don't necessarily be, see uh, Windows 8 as being a flop because of the fact that there are more and more touchscreen devices out there, but for the traditional desktop user uh, who likes to use their keyboard as opposed to huge chunky tiles of graphical goodness, uh, you are going to be feeling a bit left out, which is why I think Ubuntu has a great chance here. Uh, it's Ubuntu 12.04 is shaping up incredibly nicely. Uh, we were talking on a podcast with the consulting engineer uh, for Canonical, uh, Alan Pope, and he was uh, he was very helpful in answering all our questions. If you haven't checked out that podcast, definitely recommend doing that. But Ubuntu 12.04 is shaping up very nicely indeed. It's very fast. It's uh, it's relatively stable. Obviously, it is beta, so you are going to have application crashes, but they are focusing on fit and polish for this release, and it's really starting to show already. It's very peppy. It's very sprightly. It does everything that you would expect it to do. Uh, as far as features uh, on top of 11.10, not that many new ones to speak of, except for, of course, the HUD. Uh, but apart from that, it's it's a very polished release, and I can really see this going places in the long run, uh, especially um, considering it is a long-term support. It's going to be supported for five years. Uh, this is going to be the player that stacks up, that people are going to stack up against OS X Lion, Mountain Lion, Windows 8, and all of those other applications and uh, and their environments. And that's what I'd also say. I mean, the Software Center really is, is what, uh, as, as I've said many times before, it's the apps that make an operating system. It's not just the operating system itself. And while the user experience of Ubuntu 12.04 is pretty much gold I would say. I've actually enjoyed more using Unity more than uh, than OS X Lion and I have been using OS X Lion for quite a bit. Don't pound on me too much uh, OS X haters. But anyway, the Ubuntu Software Center I think is where it's at as far as um, people discovering quality open source applications. So I really feel they've got this as a strong point in their market. So I'm definitely going to be giving uh, Ubuntu 12.04 to every disgruntled computer user I come across and it'll be interesting to see how far uh, Ubuntu can get in this next release cycle of operating systems from both Apple and Microsoft. But that's all from me. I know I've spoken a long time now. Thank you all so much for listening and thank you for subscribing and commenting on all my videos. I very much appreciate it. So let me know down below in the comments what you think about the future of computers as far as Windows 8, uh, Mac OS X, Mountain Lion, and Ubuntu 12.04. Which one are you going to be using? And more importantly, uh, if you don't like Unity, which uh, other in des desktop environment do you see getting popular in the very near future? Let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter or Google+. So definitely consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing if you have not already. And I shall be back in the very near future with another distro review and or app review. Peace out, everybody.